Hey everybody, today we're going to talk about meandering because I hear a lot that people say, oh, I can just do a meander on my quilt. I can't do anything else. So I thought it would be fun to share with you some different ways to do meandering and that way maybe you can branch out and try some different things. Okay, so first I'm going to draw them out and then we're going to go to the um, long arm and we're going to quilt them out. These can be done on your long arm, your domestic machine, or your stationary long arm, whichever works for you. Okay, so we have the traditional long, we have the tr traditional meander, which is basically hills and valleys. And you just fill in as you go. So that's what it, most people do. That's what they like to do. And that's fine, but why not add some extra elements to that? Let's see what else we can add. Suppose you do that meander and you want to dress it up a little bit. Why not come back in a second time around and overlap? So you're going to start your thread at a, a separate point, a little bit away from where you started, and you're going to weave in and around so that it might look like ribbons weaving in and out. And that will dress that up some. And maybe you have some extra space to fill in. So there's two ways to meander, the original way, and now you've added that little echo around there or that ribbon. Okay, so that's number two. Number three, how about if we add a little loop in there? So we start our meander and then maybe we just add a loop. And you can just add a loop occasionally too. That's fine too. Okay, that's number three. How could we dress that one up a little bit? Well, what if we took that loop and we run around twice. So let's start. And we're gonna go and do one loop and then we're gonna circle back around and do a second loop. And again, you don't have to do it all the time. You could do your meander and just add one occasionally just to add a little something extra. So that's number four. Number five. How about if we added some hearts in there? What if we did a, started with our meander and then we added a heart? And again, it doesn't have to be all over the place or all the time, it can just be random. So then you have some hearts in there. So see, that's five different ways now that you can meander. Okay, number six. What if we want to start a meander and then we want to do a little line like that? It adds some, a different element to it. That would be pretty easy to do. Number seven, how about if we added some little asterisks in there? So maybe we start with a meander and we stop and we do a little back and forth right there and then we move on. That adds a little bit of spark to that too. So now we're down to number eight. What if we did a meander and every so often we added a circle and moved along. There you go. 
that's number eight. For number nine, similar to um, number six, where we went like this, this time we're going to come down and around and we're just gonna sort of do a wiggly line. That's fun and it's very close to a meander. So it's just a variation of a meander. So that's number nine. Number 10, why not try and add a flower in there? So we're gonna start our meander and then maybe we're going to just Like that. So that's 10 ways that you can try. For those of you that think that all you want to do is meander, you have some variations now of ways to add to that meander. All right, let's go quilt. Okay, let's start with the basic meander. And don't forget to bring your bobbin thread up. So holding on to the tail, needle down, needle up. Pull your machine away a little bit and pull that bobbin thread up. Then you want to hold on to both tails at the same time and take a couple stitches. And this will lock your thread in place. Okay, so let's go for the basic meander. Just remember, it's hills and valleys. Oops, let me turn my basting stitch off first. I think that looks pretty nice and I know that everybody can do that so let's try and dress it up a little bit design two was the one where we echoed so let's go ahead and do that and cross over So that's number two. And there you go. Two ways to do a stipple or a meander. So the next one is loops. four is adding two loops. That's a nice way to stipple too or meander. So now you have four ways. Let's go on to number five. Number five is hearts. Okay, that's number five. Number six is that little line. So we're going to step off. 
So that's kind of fun. It's a little different. It adds some, some variety to it. Okay, number seven coming up. fun too. So again, we were coming up with lots of different ways. Next one, we're going to add a circle. Like to go around that circle a couple times go around once and then go through it both of those look really nice okay the next one coming up is the wavy line pretty fun add some variety and then the last one is the flower Another thing to think about is don't get hung up on how many petals you have and keeping them the same. This one, this one had five, this one had six. It's okay. Nobody's going to go back and count them. Again, a nice treatment there. Okay, so there you have it. 10 ways to meander or stipple. One and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Thanks for joining me and I hope this helped you in your free motion journey.